So here is an example project. This project is using a calendar which is seven days working. Here you can see SSAP project calendar. This is seven days working calendar which is eight hours per day. Now we'll create two activities that is activity A and activity B. Activity A is of six days B is also of six days. Now we'll give the relationship between these two activities. Select two activities and right click and say link activities. So the relationship becomes finished to starts. After that you can schedule it. Now here you can see activity A is starting on 1st December and finishing on 6th December. And activity B starts on 7th December and finishes on 12th December. Now let's say we are going to update this project on 6th December 5 p.m. And according to the example it says we require two more days to finish activity A and B starts already on 6th December. So we'll see how to give this information in Primavera. Select activity A, go to status and say it is already started. According to the plan activity A should complete but we require two more days to complete. So just put two remaining days okay and activity B is also started on 6th December so click 6th December select that's it after that you can reschedule it you can go to schedule and we are updating on 6th December 6th December 5 p.m. select and schedule so this is what program shows. Program shows a two days of delay and the duration complete is 33.33%. Now if you don't want to show this delay you can change the option to progress override. So I will explain you how to do progress override. Go to schedule again. Here you can see an options. Click and go to when scheduling progress activities use there are three options retain logic progress overrides and actual dates when you change the option to progress override close it and schedule you can see program breaks the relationship between A and B B is starting a way ahead and here the project is not showing any kind of delay okay so this is progress override and when you go to actual dates, it is similar to retain logic, but it shows negative floats. You can see the float, it is showing three days negative float. So that is the difference between the progress overrides and retain logic. By default, the program will always choose retain logic because it always respects the relationship between the activities. You can see after activity A, then only activity B will start. But when you use progress override, what happens? It breaks the relationships. So that's the difference. So this is how we manipulate the delays. So I think it's very pretty impressive tool in Primavera. So you can try it. So hope you understood this session. And thanks for watching.